How to e-file a new civil warrant. First you will need to log into your e-filing account. You will click New Case. You will click General Session Civil Small Claims Court. You will click Civil Warrant, Civil Claim under $25,000. The first civil warrant is going to be a form generated by the system. The second civil warrant is if you would like to upload your own civil warrant form to the submission. For this example, we will use the generated. Click Civil Warrant. Brings you to the Case Initiation screen. You have the option to choose a day of the week. This is optional. You also may choose a hearing date. This is also optional. You will then enter in the description of the legal action. Here we have the name and phone of requesting party's attorney. If there is no telephone number, please enter it. We will now add case participants. To add a plaintiff, click Add Plaintiff. As you can see, this is the attorney's information over here for this party. If there is an alias for this person, you will click Add here and enter in the information and click Save. If this is a person, you will go ahead and enter in all the information. If this is a company, you will need to click here. For this example, it will be a person. You can enter a name prefix if you would like. It's not required. You will enter in the first name. If there is a middle name, you may enter it. If there's a suffix, you may enter it. If there's a phone number, you may enter it. Since you are the attorney for this party, you do not have to enter in an address. You can simply click unknown address, but you also may enter the address if you would like. After all the information is entered, you will click next. Now we will add the defendant. Click add defendant. If you know the attorney for this party, you can click add and enter in the information, clicking save. Also, if there's an alias, you may do the same here. Enter the information and click Save. We will now enter the information for the defendant. Please make sure to select the appropriate county. After all the information is entered, click Next. If you need to add an additional plaintiff, you can click here. If you need to add an additional defendant, you can click here. If you would like to view the information you entered for either party, you can click the plus sign here. If you need to remove either party, you will just click the X. If everything looks good, you will click Next. You will be able to view the generated civil warrant form here by clicking here. This is the form generated by the system. You will choose on behalf of the party filing this, which will be the plaintiff. If you need to edit data, click Edit Data. Now we will need to choose how we would like this civil warrant to be served. Go to Service Warrants in the Document category. Document Type, you will just need to choose how you would like this civil warrant to be served. For this example, we will use the Davidson County Sheriff. The service document associated with this is generated by the system, so the Browse button is grayed out. You will just simply click Add. This brings us to the Instructions for Service screen. As you can see, all the information is filled in here. All we need to do is choose the by and for party. The plaintiff is by, the defendant is for. After you have chosen that, you will click Next. This also generates a document. You can click here to see the service document. You will need to choose on behalf of. You also have the option to edit data. You also have the option to remove if you chose the wrong service type. If everything is correct, you will click Next. 
This brings us to the review and submit filing screen. If you have a client number for your plaintiff, you can enter it here. This is where we will choose how to pay for the civil warrant. For this example, we will use the escrow account. If you need to change any of the case data, you will click here. If you need to add or remove any documents, you will click here. If you have any special filing instructions for the clerk, you will enter it here. If everything is ready to be submitted, you will click Submit the Filing. You will click OK. Your new civil warrant has now been submitted to the clerk for approval.